Good morning, pioneers, and welcome back. So today is day three of the fifth week that we have been doing our distance learning. Um, let me go ahead and share the screen with you guys. All right. So before we get started, I'm going to run down some things that we have. Um, we're going to be going over today in small groups. So in small groups today, we're going to do an activity all about frogs. We're going to write down things that they can do, things that they have, and things that they are. And on the back, we will compare tadpoles and frogs. And we're going to see what are frogs, what are tadpoles, and then what are some things that we have in common, okay? So that should be a fun activity. Um, in, our math, in our math small group today, we are going to sort sums. And so what that means is I have some math problems on lily pads where we will use number lines and or 10 frames to solve these problems and then put them in the right category okay so whether the sum is five six or seven all right so i can't wait to do that with you guys and a super fun art project today we are going to do a directed drawing so we have steps to follow so we are going to follow eight steps to draw a cute little froggy and you can really see him start to come together. And I do think this is going to go much more smoothly than our goat. And we're almost there. And then we just add a little smile and there he is. There's your happy little directed drawing frog. And I can't wait to do this activity with you guys. It's going to be super cute and super fun. All right, let's get started with our morning routine. All right, so the first thing we do is we jump into our calendar and we talk about what day it is. So what day is today, guys? Here's what our calendar looks like. I see we have the days of the week here. All right, so we know yesterday was Tuesday the 14th. All right, yesterday was Tuesday the 14th. Today is Wednesday. Good job. Today is Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. All right, let's count our days in the month so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15, awesome. All right, we're gonna go to our days of the week song. And it goes like this, are you guys ready? All right, one, two, three. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Great job, all right? Now we're gonna move on to our weather. So go outside and see what the weather's like at your house. I'll meet you back here. I'm going to count to 100 by tens. Ready, set, go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Awesome job. All right. So what's, what's the weather at like at your house? Is it sunny? Is it windy, cloudy, rainy? Here at school, when it Outside, it is very sunny. It looks very pretty outside, but it is still very cool. I almost need like a light jacket. Today, I have on a little sweater. This is kind of still cool in here. All right, I do have one of my favorite books today to continue our learning on pond life and animals and things that we find near the pond. Today's story is called I Don't Want to Be a Frog, and it is a really cute story, and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. All right, so. You can make a KWL chart at your house, or you can join along with mine. All right. Um, let's see. So things that I know, I know that there is a frog. Because I can see the little frog. Sorry. <laughs> I can see the frog right here. He's a little frog. And I know that he's saying something. I'm going to point out why I know he's saying something. I see that his mouth is open, like he's talking. And then this little bubble, it's almost like a thought bubble. And you see how it kind of points to his mouth. So that lets me know that he is talking. And I know he is saying he doesn't want to be a frog. I can read that. And you can read some of those words because some of those words are our sight words. And you guys know what sounds letters speak, so you could probably sound out some as well. All right, so those are the things that I know so far. Let's move on into our wants. So I want to know two things. I want to know, hmm, is the frog an adult frog or a, like a child, like a young frog? I want to know that. And then I also want to know, what? A frog that doesn't want to be a frog? Why? Why doesn't he want to be a frog? 
All right, so we're going to stop sharing our screen and move into our story time, all right? So this is Lyric. Can you guys say hi? She wanted to make her, her YouTube video. Sorry, say hello. All right, Lyric's going to go so we can get started on our story. All righty. All right, you guys ready? All right. I Don't Want to Be a Frog, written by Dave Petty and illustrated by Mac Bolt. And so our writer, our author, he writes the stories, and the illustrator, he draws all the cute little pictures, okay? So let's get started. I want to be a cat. You can't be a cat. Why not? Because you're a frog. No, I don't like being a frog. It's too wet. Well, you can't be a cat. Fine, I want to be a rabbit. You can't be a rabbit. Why not? Look, I can hop. Sure, but where are your long ears? Besides, what's wrong with being a frog? I don't like being a frog. It's too slimy. That may be, but you can't be a rabbit. I want to be a pig. Oh, you cannot be a pig. Why not? Well, most of all, because you're a frog, but also because you don't have a curly tail or eat garbage. Well, I can eat garbage. Everyone says that until they eat garbage. Sorry, you can't be a pig. I want to be an owl. Of course you want to be an owl. Being an owl is the greatest thing ever. Boy, would you love being an owl. So I can be an owl then? No, of course not. Why not? You don't have wings. Number two, you don't look wise. Number three, you can't turn your head all the way around. Number four, you are a frog. What's wrong with being a frog anyway? Too much bug eating. Yuck. I see. But still, no to being an owl for you. Why so glum? I don't want to be a frog. What do you want to be then? Not a frog. I want to be a cat or a rabbit or a pig or an owl. Something cute and warm. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I love eating cats and I love eating rats, rabbits, and pigs and owls too. And I am pretty hungry. I might just go gobble up some right now. Ooh, that's terrible. It's who I am. But guess the one thing I never eat. Badgers? No, I eat badgers, lots of badgers. Frogs, bingo! You don't eat frogs. Why don't you eat frogs? Because they are too wet and slimy and full of bugs. Oh, so it's good to be a frog? Yup, I guess you can't fight nature. You are what you are, and you are a fierce hunter. And you are a wet, slimy, bug-eating, very lucky frog. You should just be happy you're not a fly. What's wrong with being a fly? The end. Oh, what a super cute story. All right, let's go back to our KWL chart. All righty. So some things that I learned about the story. I learned that the frog, it's a young frog, so he's not an adult, but his dad is in the video with, or in the book with him. And I also learned that, that he thought being a frog was too wet, slimy, and they ate too much bugs. Yeah. Um, and another thing that I learned that most of all, he doesn't want to be a fly. Why didn't he want to be a frog anymore? Or why did he change his mind? Because what's the one thing that those yucky dogs won't eat? Frogs. But who knows? I don't know. Anyway, so on the next slide, there's a few more videos. I did change them this morning or today for you guys. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I can't wait to hang out with you later in our Zoom meetings. Can't wait to show you all the fun things in our small groups today. 
And most of all, I hope you guys have a very happy Wednesday. I love you guys. I miss you. And um, thank you again for all of your continued support. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys.